What's up YouTube, it's Xander the Legend here today to go over some Magic Origins intro packs. They just came out, everybody's excited about them, so let's get right into it. One of the first ones is Brave the Battle, which is a white green. Demonic Dills, which is black red. Um, Assemble Victory, which is blue red. Very interesting combo there this time. Take to the Sky, which is white blue. And then I think my, one of my personal favorites is going to be the Hunting Pack, which is black green. As I am a big white, green, and black player, I'm going to be putting those to the side. And you know what? Everybody loves some mono red, even though it's red blue this time. So let's just get straight into a zimming a symbol victory. I want to let you guys know today's video of the intro packs is brought to you by my personal local game store, Metagames Unlimited. Uh, whenever you step in sometime, just tell them Xandar sent you. It's a great group of people there, and it's a great business. I really, really enjoy battling people there for Friday night. Shoot, even Tuesdays and Sundays. We play all the time. Every intro pack comes with two booster packs of Magic Origins, which we'll open later in the video. You're going to get a rules reference card. If this is for the newer players, we'll kind of open it up and take a look at it real quick. Talks about casting spells, doing all that. Really, we don't need that. We're here for the card review. And we're going to get an insert that's going to talk about the deck, the cards in it, and how to play it. We're always going to get a premium foil card on the front. And these are all alternate artworks for the intro decks. Uh, the key thing to this deck is not all artificers are confined to workshops. You are the architect of your own victory. Bringing your inventions to the battlefield, you use artifacts to empower your already potent magic. Well, let's just see about that. I really do always love the alternate artwork cards. They're just, they're really neat to collect to get a full play set of them as I'm dropping them everywhere today. I'm very slick for some reason. This is Pia and Karen Nellar, two uncolored and double red for a 2-2 legendary creature. When it enters the battlefield, put two 1-1 colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. You can always pay two uncolored and a red and sacrifice them to do two damage to target creature or player. And eh, not too bad, but... Majoring Responder is a 7 uncolored, 7-7. Seven, seven. It doesn't untap during your untap step unless you pay the 7 uncolored. Not too big on that one for a rare, but... Bond and Constructs, pretty good card. Can't attack alone, but we're going to see a couple of these in the set. Uh, Bellows Lizard, it's not too bad. One red and a 1-1. One, one. Uh, you, can, you can pump it as well. Rune Server, I mean, everybody's familiar with this now. It's just another reprint. Pretty good card. Obviously, it's going to work well in an artifact deck. Subterranean Scout, a one uncolored red. 2-1, when it enters the battlefield, target creature with power 2 or less can't be blocked this turn. Uh, we're going to have a lot of small creatures, so that's going to be pretty helpful for this deck. Maritime Guard. This is something I feel like you can switch out with something else. Two mana for a 1-3. Eh, it's all right. Chief of the Foundry. What an amazing card uh, for an artifact deck. I think this is going to make artifacts really a thing for standard. I it could really happen. For three in color, we're getting a 2-3, and other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And obviously, we're going to see several of those in this. The Ram Roller is a three in color, 2-3. It attacks each turn if abled, and if you have another artifact, it gets plus two, plus zero. Actually ends up working out pretty good. Um, this is a Jirfer Artifact Crafter, two uncolored and a red for a 2-1. When he enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter Artifact token to flying onto the battlefield. What are we seeing here? It might be a Thopter theme. I wonder if they're going to give us a bunch of Thopters at the back of this deck. That'd be kind of nice. Thopter Engineer, two uncolored and a red for a 1-3. When it enters the battlefield, guess what? You get a Thopter. That's right, Thopters for days. Guardian Automation, pretty good. Four uncolored for a 3-3. Three, three. When it dies, you gain three life. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. And, of course, you get a couple of those. They're not, they're not as good, but Aspiring Aeronaut, three and a one. Has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, I bet you can guess it. Thopters for days, I'm telling you. Ooh, Separatist Void Mage. This is one of my favorite cards, especially after the pre-release. Three in colored and a blue for a 2-2. When he enters the battlefield, and return target creature to its owner's hand. It's awesome. I'd probably put a couple more of him in there. I really like that card. He's not super strong, but keeping board control lockdowns, very nice. Whirler Rogues, two in colored and a double blue for a 2-2. Hey, guess what? When he enters the battlefield, two more Thopters. 
Uh, onto the battlefield, you can tap two untapped artifacts you control, and target creature can't be blocked this turn. Now, see, that's pretty nice. That's going to help us out with because we're going to have a bajillion thopters on the board. Reclusive Artificer is two uncolored and a blue red for a two three haste. When he enters the battlefield, or sorry, when she enters the battlefield, you may have it deal damage to target creature equal to the number of artifacts you control. Very solid card. You're going to see several of those. Honestly, this could almost be a four of in this deck. Volcanic Rambler is five uncolored and a red for a six four. You can also pay two uncolored and a red, and he deals one damage to target player. Small Bomb, Evolving Wilds, everybody's seen that. We're going to get into the mountains now before we go back to the, the uh, spells and all of that. And we're going to have some islands. Pretty good new artwork on the lands. I'm impressed. Not that I've really seen bad lands. One of my favorite cards from the pre-release is Prism Ring. Uh, I feel like this is a really good card. Unfortunately, I don't know in a dual-colored deck. If you could play mono white or mono green... It's awesome. One uncolored, it enters the battlefield, you can choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell of that chosen color, you gain one life. It's kind of like the Magus Staffs from the other sets. Alchemist Vials, two uncolored. When it enters the battlefield, you can draw a card. You can also pay one uncolored and tap it, and target creature can't attack or block this turn. I, I, I don't think it's going to be that great. It's probably one of the cards I would switch out personally. Uh, Infectious Budlust is one uncolored and a red. Enchant Creature, it gets plus two, plus one, and has haste, and attacks each turn if able. When the creature dies, you may search your library card for a, na for a card named Infectious Bloodlust. Reveal it and put it onto your hand and shuffle your library. Now, see, this is a great four of card. I'm probably, oh, we're going to have three. Yeah, three is pretty good for that. Disperse is one uncolored and a blue. It's instant. Return target non-land permit to its owner's hand. Uh, hello. Awesome card. I'd like two or three of those. I love some control. Uh, Juniper Aether Grid is two uncolored and a red enchantment. Tap two untapped artifacts you control, and it deals one damage to target creature or player. It doesn't sound too great, but if you can't get your damage through, it could probably help you eliminate something off the board. Artificer's Epiphany actually is pretty good. I'd play at least one of these in the pre-release deck. Two uncolored and a blue. Instant ability of drawing two cards. If you control no artifacts, discard a card. We're going to get a couple of those because they're okay. Meteorite, kind of blah. Five uncolored, it's an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, it deal two damage to target creature or player. You can tap it and add one mana of any color to your pool. It's not too bad, it's just, it's too late. Five mana is really too late in the game, I feel like. So, the rares for that was the Mage Ring Responder and then the alternate art Pia and Kira and Nalar, which is, that is Chandra's parents. All right, now the part you guys have been waiting for. Patiently waiting is two packs of Magic Origins. Before I go into these packs, I always like to let you guys know. Hit that subscribe like button. Leave me a comment down below. I love talking about this. I love talking about if the intro decks are good for you or not. Um, yeah, I mean, these are going to be in stores here soon. So I want everybody to uh, be prepared, know what they're going to get, and kind of see the amazing things you can pull out of packs. I've had really great luck with the packs in these. So let's see if we can continue that luck today. And I just enjoy talking to you guys all on... Uh, the old social communication there. Act of Treason, Mighty Leap, uh, Macabre Waltz, Volca another Volcanic Rambler, another Artificer's Epiphany. Man, we're going to be able to complete our play set of cards. Timber, Pack Wolf, Stratus Walk, which is really good, I feel like. Stalwart Avian, another really good card. Another Guardian Automation. Leaf Gilder, Totem Guide, Hearth, Hearth, Hearth Beast. Uh, this is our first uncommon. Eh. I Blight Massacre. We're not really playing elves. We're not black. It ain't going to help us. Speaking of elves, Shaman of the Pack. This is actually one of the better rares, or uncommons, I feel like. One uncolored and a black and a green for a 3-2 elf shaman. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to the number of elves you control. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of this in the, uh, the Hunt intro deck. And our rare or mythic for this pack is going to be Ember Maw Hellion. Three uncolored, double red for a 4-5 with Trample. Uh, if another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one to that permanent or player instead. He's all right. We might be able to make room for him in our deck just because the intro decks are a little weak. Um, not too bad of a card. And a planes and token. Last pack. We'll see what we can make happen here. Always remember, Planeswalkers, you can't play Magic at Walmart or Target, so try to spend your money at your local game store. Or if you're in Springfield, Missouri, I will catch you at Metagames. 
I say catch you. I'll, I'll really try to play you and beat you. Even though there's there's some really good play. I mean, man, if you're looking for the competitive scenes, my card shop is the card shop because whoo, there's some good people there. Act of Treason, Celestial Flare, Thornbow Archer, Volcanic Rambler, Might of the Masses, Water Courser, Deep Sea Terror. Kind of a cool looking card. I mean, just take your time. It's like a eel, well, dinosaur thing. I don't know. You can't attack unless there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, but he's six for a 6-6. Six, six. Leaf Gilder, Guardians of Miltus. He's an artifact creature, so, I mean, he's 0-6 for three. If you got some of your uh, plus ones out there, that might not be too bad. Fiery Impulse. And now getting into our uncommons for this last pack is Brawler's Plate. Sylvan Messenger. Revenant. And our last rare mythic is going to be... Animus Awakening X in a green sorcery. Reveal the top X cards of your library. Put all lands, land cards from among them onto the battlefield. Tapped and the rest onto the bottom of your library in any random order. It also has Spell Mastery. If there are two or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, untap those lands. Eh, I think it's got potential. If you built the deck around it, it'd probably work. But a Swamp and a Double Face. It doesn't seem like you get tokens very often. I will say that from opening up some Magic Origins. The tokens, which, I mean, it's pretty much Thopters and a couple other things for, like, um, Nissa's elemental stuff. You don't get them too much. You either get this or you get one of the uh, checklist cards. But, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Click subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Oh, have a great day. Yeah, why not?